What's up guys, it's Vowel TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, back again. And what I'm doing this time now is I've got a Ford Mondeo, 2013 Ford Mondeo diesel. And we're going to go ahead and replace the oil filter and engine oil, basically an oil change. Right, but this one, slightly hard, okay. It's the filter of death, I'm, that's what I'm going to call it, the filter of death. Not the easiest oil filter in the world, to drain the oil, easy, you know, take the cover off. If you're doing it outside on the ramp, uh, on the floor, make sure it's nice and safe. You have to take the bottom cover off, uh, but the oil filter, not the easiest in the world. Anyway, let's go, let's do it. Okay, I've sent the car up on the ramp, as you can see there. The car is on the ramp. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go underneath. Okay, take this bottom cover off. In order to take this cover off, I mean dead easy, 10 milli bolts or screws, take them off all the way around here. All the way around as you can see there, there. Take them off and then we'll go from there. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to take the sun plug off. I've already started taking it off, uh, I've cracked it and everything. 24 mil socket. Basically socket, ratchet, extension, take it off. I'm going to try to get it in there. Obviously I would be holding it up with one hand, the oil pan, and drain it with the other hand. But this time around I'm going to go for it, see how my, how my accuracy is. Oh my days, right in the middle. Can't go wrong there. So wait for that to drain out and we'll go from there. Okay, I think the oil is drained out 99.9%. I think it's drained out. Uh, as you can see, it's just dripping at the moment. So we'll put the sump plug back on. Okay, so basically we'll tighten up on that and then we'll put the cover back on, send it down, do the oil filter, put some oil in. Happy days, job done. Okay team R4UL, we have sent the car down, put everything on on the bottom, you know, all the covers on, some plugs back on, everything's on. Right, the oil filter lives in there, where I'm pointing it with the light, just in there, buried. It's not the easiest oil filter to get at, but it's not the hardest, we should be okay. Move a few things about and then we should be alright. So basically we'll take this, move this on out of the way, press it there, lift it up, that should go out of the way, move out of the way. Hopefully now, just be careful with the wires on the alternator. Okay, and we'll get a spanner in there. As you can see it there. Okay, it most likely be a 27 or a 24 mil spanner. We'll get that on it, take that off. Let's go. Okay guys, sit rep. This is what's happening here. As you can see, I've got the spanner, 27 mil spanner, it's 27. Onto the oil filter there, as you can see just there. We'll go anti-clockwise. As soon as we crack it, we should be able to take it off with our hands, uh, with our fingers, but let's crack it first. Anti-clockwise, 27 mil. Let's see if I can get to show you guys and do it at the same time. There we go. That's cracked. So hopefully now it should be loose and then we should be able to basically take the oil filter off by hand. Okay, the filter is still tight. So we've still got the spanner on there. So I'm going to give it some more. As you can see there, just turn it. And basically it's a slow process, but obviously not the hardest one in the world if you've got a shorter 27 much easier so basically like that as you can see there anti-clockwise let's take that off and we'll go from there okay there we have it one oil filter off what we're going to do now is we're going to replace the seals on it there on the cap, replace the seals, obviously replace the oil filter, uh, get the new one back on. 25 newton meters if you want to go all professional. Happy days. Let's go. Okay, there we have it. The new oil filter is in there. Basically, we've got the seal on as well, the rubber seal on there. I'm just going to guide it in there exactly the same way we took it off. Just take your time with it, be patient. No, no, you don't have to rush. If you're rushing, you're going to mess things up. Basically, take your time, get this back on there. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, the filter is on. I'm gonna call this the filter of death, okay? Because it's not the easiest filter in the world. All right, the filter of death on the Ford Mondeo. Right, we've got it on, all tightened up and everything. I'm gonna put some oil in this car now. So, there we go. It is a slow filler, so be careful when you're filling it up. Just make sure it's, uh, you know, you fill it up nice and easy, nice and slowly, or else it's gonna come out all over the top. So yeah, let's get some oil in there. Well, that is it guys, all done and dusted, oil filters done, oil is in, started it up, it takes about 5 litres or 5 point, I would say 5.1, 5.2 litres, so yeah, all done and dusted, happy days, filter of death, that's what all I'm saying, Ford Mondeo 2013 plate, diesel, done and dusted, let's go, I hope this video helps you guys out, if it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry, trying my best, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section, Raul TV, Team R4UL. We'll see you guys next time.